and you would grab like a little stick that was kind of perched in the corner and you would hook it up and then pull on that and then the whole thing would go ding dong ding dong hello there my name is uni and welcome back to my 1.19 let's play series and we have a little tiny plot of land here with a layout for a new building and an addition to the alpine village and I was thinking over the past week, I started my work again. I was wondering, you know, what could I have in this area that would bring this whole place together, would unite everyone, and make everything way less complicated and way less, um, you know, bureaucratic. Um, and I figured, hey, how about a church, huh? <laughs> how about a place where people can go and uh, practice their beliefs? Um, and this particular church here is not going to be any typical church. Um, I did go to Catholic church and school growing up, but this one is specific to this little village here, and it is all-inclusive. Everyone is joining in, invited to celebrate any religion that they wish. Um, I guess it's basically just an all-purpose chapel, that the community, uh, you know, rents out to every resident and they get to practice what they want on the inside. So, we have two shulkers here. One with the foundation building materials as well as the roofing materials and other miscellaneous blocks. And two, we have the rainbow of colors for our stained glass window as well as all our candles and other miscellaneous things for the inside. It will once again be another textured building such as this mailroom here, but a little more complicated than just that. Uh, you'll notice in the beginning the moon had set that way, and the sun is rising up this way over these hills right now, so that will be incorporated into our texturing as well. So I'll start off by gathering up the things I need to get the base of this completed. We have, I believe, five or six different blocks we are going to use. It is going to be diorite, and let's go ahead and get a palette going here. But this will create a nice little transition between dark and light, and it will give us a nice preview of how the sun is setting and the shadow is casting across here. As well, there will be a bell tower, because you'll notice there was a bell in my shulker box. But let's go ahead and start these walls, and I will hop back in once I have completed those. So we have taken this palette of shading right here and applied it to the building and base of this entire church. And as you can see, we have the darker side on this side over here. And it goes and wraps all the way around over here because this is imitating the sun setting over here on that side. And then the lighter portion starts to brighten up on this end and this whole area here is still having the sun hit it directly on and now we have windows to install because i have panes and panes and panes of all these different colors so i'm going to come through here and randomly place a bunch of different windows and hopefully by the end of this we will have a nice looking church i just want to make sure that we have a little bit of color with all this white coming through because it would not be very interesting to look at if it was just plain windows. So I'm going to get all this glass in and get back to you soon. Well, all right, we're getting a good look on this church here. We have all of the windows now installed and it is looking nice and colorful. But I also have these doors here that I want to get put in. And in the back side, we have here just a normal door. But we have these dark oak doors that I want to put into here. And there we go. Perfect. We have an entrance and an exit door, and they have the nice church-looking sort of style to them. I remember back in the uh, church that I used to go to, we actually had bigger doors. So let me actually be back in just a second here. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and try to put these up on top here, because this will, I think, make it look a little bit bigger. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Um... Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, they look kind of similar on the inside. That's all right. That, that looks fine enough to me. I'm not really too picky about it. Now, let's see here. We have to get a roof on top of this thing because without the roof, there will be no bell tower, which is going to go at the front here. 
So let's go ahead and find a little area to corner ourselves in because I want to do my usual fancy transition. Uh, here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and pinpoint right there. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and get this roof on right now. And there it is. We have the whole thing done. Oh my God, I love it. I have made this on a separate world and designed it for a few days. And this is finally now in the world. We have the completed thing almost. We just have to go up there and place the bell and then do the interior. Uh, this little section I had not planned out, but I kind of messed around with it. And it is going to be just a little balcony. But we'll have this like so. And that will be at the entrance here. And we'll actually do it like that because we don't want people falling over the stairwell as well. But here we have the thing done. Let's go and check out the inside. There's not much to it yet, but we also have to uh, put this wall in. And this will be our main area that we will get done last. But let's go out the front here and show off this side. Uh, we also have some scaffolding. I did want to bring you along as I put this bell in. So we'll go up here. And we'll get this bell put on top just right here. I do need to fill it in with a block. So what can I use? I'll use spruce planks for now. I have a torch up there, so that'll be fine. There we go. Okay. And then let's just put these in here like that. And then look at it from afar. I think I'll be able to see that bell. Okay. Let's go like this. Oh, yeah. You can see the bell. That's good. All righty. Oh, well, I was working on the inside here, and uh, sounds like we got ourselves our first uh, pay, uh, <laughs> patron. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Um, what do you have to offer here? We got, ooh, small drip leaf. Okay, I did go and just uh, get a bunch of those on the last episode where I was doing uh, quite a bit of decoration in my aquarium, but, well, we'll just let him do his thing. He can come in if he wants to. He can stick around or stay. I don't really mind, but let's see. Okay, so we got this entire wall here. I'm just going to fill in with calcite for now. And then this will be the door. And then I'm going to put this here because let's grab my candles. I have to get all these things prepared. I have so many little tiny details that I need to get done. And this is one of the things. Uh, so these, oh, he's gone. I don't know where he went, but... These right here are the little areas where they would slide in the numbers. And those numbers would correspond to the number in the booklet you got for the song that they were supposed to sing at that time. Um, and I always remember being that uh, kid who just kind of came in early with the parents and would just slide those numbers in because, hey, I was there. I was free labor, you know. <laughs> and if the church knows anything, it's uh, free labor, that's for sure. The cool thing about this is it actually has... I should probably get some light. Uh, here, let's put some temporary torches down for now. Um, it has a little hook at the end, which I'm going to use as this lightning rod. And you would grab like a little stick that was kind of perched in the corner. And you would hook it up and then pull on that. And then the whole thing would go ding dong, ding dong. And uh, there you go. People would know it's time to start praying. Uh, now, one thing I want to check. Can you mix? No. Okay. So you can't mix candles. That's okay. Um, we'll come back to that later. But let me go ahead and get the rest of this interior done here. And I will be back with you once that is complete. As well, I need to figure out what the heck is even going to happen in this little room on the side. So, in the middle here, we have this little box. Uh, typically known as the tabernacle. Where um, the bread and uh, grape juice is being kept. But... Um, this is pretty much it. We are almost done. I have almost all the elements of this uh, church completely filled out. We do have a door now for here, so we can come in and out. And I have just made this kind of the back storage room where they prepare things and they bring out all the stuff. But let's see. We got this and this. These are the pews. And we have these little tiny signs that I'm just going to put down to... Uh, basically have armrests and with that we are pretty much done let's get this little carpet in that I designed and the theme of this season is blue I forget which one that is I remember Lent was like 
I don't know, purple or something. And then there's like a time in the Christmas season where everything's pink for a second and then everything's red for another time. I don't know. There's there's something to do with the coordination of colors and the time of year. But I also need to light up these candles. Here we go. Now I can reach these and get them all lit up. So let's just get these all completely done without accidentally <laughs> catching something on fire. I gotta make sure I've highlighted the correct hitboxes here. Uh, there we go. I think we have it all complete. Let's check the back here. I don't think I had any candles, just a lantern. Okay, cool. That, I believe, is the church completed. All right, we have done all the interior work now. It is done. Oh, I missed one little candle. You little rascal, get there. Okay, you know, we wanna make sure it's all completed. There we go. Let's do a flyby area here. Hey, there we go. Let's get a little angle on it. Oh, yeah. That's a church right there. If I've ever seen one, I can do some praying and kneeling in this bit, boy, right here. Heck, yeah. Okay. Well, with that, I think this ends the episode, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. My name is Uni. I am jogging it out, and I will see you guys next time.